So this is a pretty uh, significant size operation, and uh, and it's being handled, I believe, in just a, an outstanding, seamless sort of a situation. And I mean by that that the people that are involved are coming in with one goal and one purpose, and that's to bring about a successful resolution to this abduction. Where is baby Kate? That's what police and other searchers are trying to figure out again tonight, four days after four-month-old Catherine Phillips was first taken from her home near Ludington. Now that search continued today in an area near Sean Phillips' home. He's charged with kidnapping the infant, but isn't telling police where she is. 24 Hour News 8's Crystal Hilliard has been in Ludington all day. She joins us now live with the very latest on some new developments today. Crystal? Yeah, Larry, for the past few days, this parking lot behind me was the command center, essentially ground zero for all of the search operations. As you can see, it's empty now. Now, if you remember for the past few days, if you've been keeping up with this story, this parking lot was filled with fire trucks and all types of squad cars. But at a news conference today, the Mason County Sheriff's Department announced They'll continue to work any leads they find on Catherine Shelby Elizabeth Phillips' whereabouts, but they've completed their ground search. Also, some more big information coming out of the Sheriff's Department this afternoon. Police chief says they found the pink jumper the four-month-old was last seen wearing. They aren't saying where they found it or what condition it was in. Now, although the FBI, the Sheriff's deputies, and Coast Guard have been involved, the search hasn't stopped there. All around Scottville and Ludington, flyers are posted outside gas stations, ice cream shops, and even grocery stores. Police issued a call this morning to anyone willing to help distribute these flyers to meet at City Hall. No word on how many people showed up, but police say there are people in the community helping them with this investigation by just calling in and saying what they know. Tips are coming in and investigators are going out and doing that and we're uh, based on uh, some credible information then we'll go out and conduct searches. But again, the whole thing is not just search. The, the, a lot of the work, the majority of the work is following up those tips via interviews and that type of thing. Now, police say the suspect, Sean Michael Phillips, has hired a lawyer and is currently exercising his right to not incriminate himself. We're also told there's a candle vigil tonight here at a local park at 9 o'clock. Live in Scott Scottville tonight, Crystal Hilliard, 24-Hour News 8.